evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Suburban Pathfinder. I would like to apologize immediately for the strange way that this video is framed. Uh, we're very close to the camera. Uh, but I had a few minutes to make a video, and I've been promising this video to somebody for a while. And uh, I don't have my normal audio recorder with me, so I need to rely on the uh, internal audio from my phone. So I had to get up nice and close. Anyway, this isn't going to be a really long video, uh, and you don't really need to see the whole bike. So, um, one of the aftermarket parts I've been very, very impressed with that I've added to the KLR 650 have been these double take adventure mirrors. You see all kinds of guys using these. They're in, uh, insanely popular at the moment. They use mostly uh, RAM mounting hardware. Uh, the mirror heads themselves are made by double take. Uh, but these are not inexpensive. It's well over $100. I, I didn't look uh, tonight to see what the current price is, but I know that it's well over $100 if you want to get a set of these mirrors. I think they're probably about 80 bucks just for a single mirror and the arm and the ball. Um, so I was contacted recently by a, a company that I, I don't really know much about. They're called MoFun Parts. I suspect, well, actually, I know they're in China. Um, most manufacturing uh, for aftermarket motorcycle parts is happening in places like China and Taiwan. Uh, MoFun Parts has a pretty extensive website, a lot of the products that they're selling, and it's almost all, or I think it might all be uh, Power Sports parts. A lot of the stuff they're selling is aftermarket parts for Harley Davidsons. Obviously, I don't at the moment have a Harley Davidson. I've got a Kawasaki KLR650. They do make a few uh, specific parts for the KLR650. They make lowering links uh, for the rear suspension for Gen 1s and Gen 2 KLR650s. No raising links. And I actually suggested uh, to MoFun Parts when they contacted, or after I was in talks with them, after they contacted me, that a, a product they might want to look into is raising links. Uh, for the third gen KLR650 and they told me they were going to uh, put that forward to their product development people. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But uh, I looked through the, the various parts that they were offering for me to take a look at and review and full disclosure, uh, these parts were uh, provided to me free of charge. So uh, this is not a paid promotion. I don't take money to, to do positive reviews. Uh, but the folks asked me if I wanted to take a look at these mirrors and they are also making adventure mirrors, which are kind of mm, a bit similar to these. Um, but rather than using Ram arms and Ram balls and in-house mirror heads, they're manufacturing everything, the balls, the arms and the mirror heads. And uh, the arms are supposed to be billet machined. I talked to the company a little bit. Uh, again, that's MoFun Parts. Uh, they're made from 6061. I don't know if it's 6061 T6 or just regular 6061. So anyway, I've got the parts in the box here. It is a very extensive kit because this is made to mount on pretty much any type of bike. So why don't we move over to the bench top and take a look at what comes in the box. Um, I forget how much these cost, but they were significantly uh, less expensive than a set of double takes. Plus, if you order from MoFun Parts, um, there is going to be a discount code uh, specific to the channel. I think it's SP8, but I will definitely put it in the description down below. And I'll also put the link to these parts in the description down below if you want to check them out. Uh, but let's move over to the bench top and take a closer look at what you get in the box. Okay, everyone. Uh, so I've already had a peek inside the box, but this is basically what everything looks like uh, when you order these adventure mirrors from MoFun Parts. There are some instructions here, but uh, I don't think those are really terribly necessary unless you're incredibly uninclined mechanically. Uh, you come with two mirror heads, obviously. Again, these are meant to be billet machined. Uh, I haven't cut these out of their pack yet. Each one is sealed in its own bag. Let me do that. These mirror heads themselves actually look a bit more like they are stamped out of sheet metal. 
and uh, you can see there. But I mean, that is definitely um, metallic construction. You've got glass mirrors. Oh, there I am. And these are, I don't know, powder coated maybe? Uh, I put a magnet on these a little bit earlier. These are not steel, so they're not going to rust. They are aluminum as well. And you've got a ball mount. An interesting thing about these balls is they are a bit smaller than the ones you would find uh, from Ram products, Ram balls, and also the balls that are on uh, molded into the double take heads are about an inch in diameter. These are a bit smaller. Um, I don't know what the exact size of them is. I don't know why they didn't just clone uh, Ram balls, uh, which would have made them a little bit more uh, universal. But so you get two mirror heads, you get two balls. I think these are some sort of SAE thread. I'm not sure. Um, like I said, MoFun Parts does seem to uh, focus on Harley Davidson quite a bit. So these might be a standard inch size. Um, the stainless steel is very nicely machined. These seem very nicely made. Um, so those are your two standard balls. Uh, and you might say, well, I have a metric bike. I don't have an SAE bike. I'm tired of looking at my face in that mirror. Um, but guess what? These come with all sorts of other bits and bobs. Here are the arms. I'll cut one of these out of its pack. And these are the parts that are billet machined out of 6061 T6 aluminum. They look pretty nicely made. Um, they don't appear black anodized. They appear to have been powder coated perhaps. And unlike these ram arms, which have a single uh, tensioning knob and a single spring on one end, which gives you this sort of uh, pincher motion, you can kind of keep them assembled and just clamp one end down. Uh, these arms from MoFun Parts have springs on both ends and two tensioning knobs. Um, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's going to make these easier or more difficult uh, to use, but there are all sorts of extra balls in here. Some of these have right-hand threads. Some of them have left-hand threads. Uh, these are the metric equivalent of the balls that come in the top tray. Here are some of the smaller shank, uh, which may be for other small smaller metric bikes there are balls with very long threaded shafts um, there's all sorts of nuts and little aluminum bezels and other bits some sleeves in here i think it looks like pretty much they've covered all of their bases whatever type of bike uh, you have you should be able to find something that's going to allow you to mount these mirrors on your bike. You come, they come with lots and lots of extra hardware. I think um, these are the balls that my bike requires. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and mount one of these mirrors on the right-hand side of the bike. I'm going to leave the double-take mirror on the left-hand side so I can kind of ride around with both mounted for a little while and, and compare how I like uh, the double takes versus these new uh, mirrors from MoFun Parts. Um, I don't remember exactly how much these cost, but they're about probably about half the price of the double takes. So if they hold up reasonably well, and one problem I've run into even with the double takes is getting them uh, clamp down where they don't move in the wind on the highway. So if these hold up fairly well and they stay in place fairly well, they may make uh, for a, you know, an affordable and, and reasonable alternative to the double takes. Um, I'm very, very pleased with the double take mirrors, but not everybody wants to drop $130 on a pair of mirrors. So let's go ahead and mount one of these and see what it looks like. Uh, one thing to note before we go to mount these on the bike, you can see the double-take mirrors are 
a very similar shape and style to these uh, new ones from MoFun Parts. But as you can see, they are quite a bit bigger. So you are going to have, I think, a larger field of view. Um, plus, the double take mirror looks as though it's a bit convex. Whereas, oh no, I guess the uh, the MoFun Parts mirror is also a bit convex. But uh, and they sit up about the same height. Actually, the MoFun might be a little bit higher from the ball joint. So. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and mount one of these and see what it looks like on the bike. All right, so let's go ahead and mount one of these mirrors. As you can see, the reason I chose uh, the right-hand side of the handlebars is there is a second socket here adjacent to uh, the brake fluid reservoir, which has the same uh, thread diameter as uh, the standard mounting point for the mirror stem. Um, and this is, I don't even know what this is for. It's a, it's a blind hole. It just had a plastic plug in it, which I pulled out and I screwed in, uh, one of the mounts that came with these MoFun parts mirrors. Um, once again, we're up against this issue that I covered in the uh, video about the Burko van balls. We've got a stainless steel, uh, shaft here threading into aluminum you do run the risk of a galvanic reaction setting up in here when you've got aluminum, uh, when you've got stainless steel screwed into aluminum. If, if any moisture at all gets down in this socket, you can end up with uh, electrolysis happening in there and a galvanic reaction and it can corrode your aluminum. So once again, I have used a little nylon washer and I've used some thread sealant on, uh, on, this, on the threads of the shaft. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you can see the uh, original Ram ball. Well, this is a, a Burko van ball, but it's it's the same diameter as one of the Ram balls and works with the Ram arms. is somewhat larger than the balls that come with these mirrors from MoFun Parts. Now, mounting these um, is very much the same sort of idea as mounting the double take mirrors. You do have these double screw knobs, however. Now, these may amplify the clamping power and keep these mirrors a little more solid, but they are a bit, it does obviously take a little bit longer because you're messing around with two knobs instead of one. But, but there you have it. I think these actually look pretty good. They seem fairly solid. Um, I don't know. They may vibrate a little bit. They're not quite as stiff as the uh, double take mirrors on the ram mounts. But once again, they are also uh, quite a bit less expensive. And just like the double take mirrors, you can fold these in for riding on the trail. Well, that knob might be a little bit hard to get to behind that ball right there, but yeah, you could fold these in for riding on the trail, much the same as you would with the double take adventure mirrors. So we'll see how these hold up. Um, only time will tell. I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna leave one double take over on the other side, and I'm gonna leave the MoFun parts mirror over here and we'll get it out on the highway a little bit uh, over the next few weeks and, and ride and, and maybe go over some bumpy gravel roads and stuff and see how these mirrors hold up. They appear to be fairly well made. They do seem a little more, uh, I guess, vibratory maybe than the, than the ram mounts uh, with the uh, double take mirrors in there. But what we'll see if they stay put. They might be a really good, uh, affordable option if you don't want to drop the money on the double take mirrors. I am going to leave the, the ball over here in case I have to put the double take back on there in the near future. Um, but we'll ride like this for a while and see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start editing this one and start working on the next video. And when I post that up, I hope to see each of you then. Later, guys.